My father. Methinks I see my father. He was a man. Take him for all in all. I shall not look upon his like again. My lord, I think I saw him yesternight. Saw? Who? My lord, the king, your father. The king, my father? Pity me not, but lend thy serious hearing to what I shall unfold. I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night, and for the day confined to fast and fires till the foul crimes done in my days of nature are burnt and purged away. But that I am forbid to tell the secrets of my prison house, I could a tale unfold whose lightest word would harrow up thy soul, freeze thy young blood, make thy two eyes like stars start from their unit spheres, thy knotted and combined locks to part, and each particular hair to stand on end. Like quills upon the fretful porpentine, tut this eternal blazon must not be to ears of flesh and blood. Revenge is foul and most unnatural murder. Excellent, well, you are a fishmonger, then I would you were so honest a man. I, sir, to be honest as this world goes, is to be one man picked out of ten thousand. For if the sun breed maggots in a dead dog, being a god-kissing carrion, have you a daughter? I have no Let her not walk at the sun. Conception is a blessing, but not as your daughter may conceive. You cannot, sir, take from me anything, but I will more willingly part with all. Except my life, except my life, except my life. My excellent good friend, how dost thou, Rosenstern? Good lad, how do ye? God save you, sir, my honored lord, my most dear lord. What's the news? None, my lord, but that the world's grown honest. Your news is not true. Let me question more in particular. What have you, my good friends, deserved at the hands of fortune, that she sends you to prison hither, for Denmark is a prison? But in the beaten way of friendship, what make you at Elsinore? To visit you, my lord. Were you not sent for? Is it your own inclining? Is it a free visitation? Come, deal justly with me. Come, come, nay, speak. What should I say? Why anything, but to the purpose. You were sent for, and there is a kind of confession in your looks, which your modesties have not craft enough to color. I know the good king and queen have sent for you. My lord, I was sent for. She desires to speak with you in her closet, ere you go to bed. Do not forget this visitation, but look, amazement on thy mother's soul. Oh, step between her and her fighting soul. So much for this, sir. Now shall you see the other? You do remember all the circumstance? Remember, my lord? Sir, in my heart there was a kind of fighting that would not let me sleep. Methought I lay worse than the mutinies and the bilbos. Rashly, who praise be rashness for it, let us know our indiscretion sometimes serves as well when our deep plots do power, and that should teach us there's a divinity that shapes our ends, rough human as we will. Ere I could make a prologue to my brains, they had begun the play. I sat me down, devised a new commission, wrote it fair. I once did hold it as our status do, a baseness to write fair and labored much how to forget that learning, but sir, now it did me yeoman's service. Wilt thou know the effect of what I wrote? Sir, in this audience, let my disclaiming from a purpose evil free me so far in your most generous thoughts that I have shot mine heir o'er the house and hurt my brother. I am satisfied in nature, whose motive in this case should stir me most to my revenge. But in terms of, of honor, I stand aloof, and will no reconcilement till by some elder masters of known honor I have a voice and president of peace and to keep my name on board until that time I will receive your offer not the like love, no, not your own. I embrace it freely, and will this brother's wager frankly play? Give us the foils. Come on. Cousin Hamlet, you know the wager? I do not fear it. I have seen you both, but since he is better, we have therefore all.
I, as a woodcock, to mine own strange, I am justly killed with mine own treachery. How goes the queen? She swoons to see them bleed. No. No. The drink. The drink. Oh my dear Hamlet. The drink. The drink. I'm poisoned. It is here, Hamlet. Hamlet. They are slain. No medicine in the world can do the good. Indeed, there is not half an hour of life. The treacherous instrument is in thy hand. In battle and venom, the foul practice hath turned itself on my mind. Here I lie, never to rise again. Thy mother's poisoned. I can no more of the king. The king's to blame. The point in venom too. Then venom. He is justly served. It is a poison tempered by himself. Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Mine and mine own father's death come not upon thee, not thine on me. Heaven make thee free of it. I follow thee. I am dead, Horatio. Wretched queen, adieu. Had I but time, as this fell sergeant death is strict in his arrest, oh, I could tell you. But let it be, Horatio, I am dead. Thou livest, report me in my cause aright to the unsatisfied. <coughs> oh, I die, Horatio. I cannot live to hear the news from England, but I do prophesy the election lights on Fortinbras. He has my dying voice. So tell him, with the occurrence more and less, which have solicited, the rest is silence. Now cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet prince. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Why does the drum come hither? <laughs>